Let's take a listen to Joel Batonio talking about the Browns quarterback, Jacoby Brissett. He's taking the reins, and it's, it's been his, his job. Um, but the way he's played is just it, – it's impressive to me. He's been in a lot of tough situations in his career, you know, where he's gone and wasn't sure he was going to start, ends up being the starter, things of that nature. But um, I think he's making good decisions with the ball, and that's something we always stress here is, like, we can't turn the ball over. You know, we got to take care of the ball. Um, so he's done a good job with that and um, taking what's there. You know, we're not we're not trying to force too much, but when he has to take those big shots, you know, you saw last game against, you know, Amari deep. Um, those type of plays have been huge for us. And Quincy, uh, when he has forced the ball, things have not gone well. Browns, I believe, are minus four giveaway takeaway. Uh, I think that's more a fun- function of the defense not turning the ball over, but. Jacoby Brissett has played better than I expected. I mean, what are your thoughts about the way he's played? I feel like he, he's he's really benefiting from what the Browns have around them. I feel like Kevin Stefanski is putting him in uh, su- 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 situations to be successful, and he is benefiting from that. Like, a lot of the talk about Jacoby Brissett was based on his prior work, and one of the things I tried to bring up was, one, the prior work wasn't that bad. If you actually look at the averages, like, remember I brought up the whole what his average would be for this year. Everyone's like, oh, it's pretty good. That's usually what he does. Um, but people got so focused on the win-loss record with him that they lost track of, like, what he actually produces. Um, and they lost track of the fact that he's been put in terrible situation after terrible situation. He gets traded midseason to the Colts or right before the season starts to the Colts to have to start. And then all of a sudden, uh, Andrew Luck retires, and now he has to start. And then Tua gets hurt, and now he has to start, right? Larry, he has never been in a situation where he had a full offseason season a full camp just to get ready for an offense that is going to have some elements of it built around him. And that's what we're seeing this year is, hey, if you put some things around him and if you – I don't want to say commit because they're clearly not committing to him because he's only playing 11 games. But if you make the commitment to play him a set amount of games and that you build around that, then you can get pretty a good amount of stuff out of him because he's a smart decision maker. Um, he he's a talented enough thrower of the football, and he's he's not fast, but he's quick footed. Like he has quick feet, so he can be a little slippery in the pocket, and all of those things add up to a guy who can be a pretty decent bridge quarterback. Um, and I think that's what Jacoby has demonstrated that look, he's not going to be franchise guy. Like nobody has that expectation for him, but he's a bridge guy. He he's he's a top tier backup, a uh, top level bridge quarterback. And I think a team that probably will draft the quarterback this year will have their eyes on Jacoby Brissett because he's the kind of guy that you want in there to be a mentor to a young guy. Yeah, I would agree. I think he's probably played himself into a pretty nice bridge quarterback contract. 